guys and welcome to AJ Theme Park World. Um, I've just arrived at the Alton Towers Resort um, and just waited for Alex and Paul in the Splash Landings car park uh, where we normally park. Um, today the park is open for John Lewis. Um, obviously they take over the park every year for a day um, for all their staff and the family members and that. Whoops, I've just dropped the camera. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do an out of season vlog, guys. Uh, we'll try and find out any more updates what's going on. So I'll speak to you soon, guys. All right, guys. Right, we're back up the Orton Towers Resort. There's the lakes, and Paul is there. <laughs> so we're just going to catch on the monorail for the first ride of the season <laughs> down to the uh, Palazzo, and uh, we'll get, hopefully try and get his passage sorted down there for next week. Um, not much going on at the minute, guys. Up here. Uh, there's a new monorail train on decoration, 40th anniversary. They've literally just changed the party uh, party monorail, put a few more logos on it, and the Power of the Towers logo on the front. So not much difference. There's the logo. So guys, I'm going to jump on monorail now with everyone, and then I'll speak to you when we get down there. It's at Ten minutes at a time. So Oi right, guys, so we've been down to the plaza, we have our new passies. I'm gonna find mine. But mine, I've lost my pass. Oh, here it is. I'll get to it. Here are our new pass. We have gone for the season passes this year as we caught on to four of the early ones. So we've just come back to Splash Landings Hotel and we're into the new arcade. We'll turn the camera around for you guys. It's a Splash Landings Hotel. Uh, we've got all the new uh, machines they've put in. Here is the new um, shop for the prizes. We've got the tickets. They've moved into that corner. A few more machines. Pound the play. And then now they have two doors now, not just the one. It's pretty cool. They open from eight till. Wow, <laughs> there's no number on that one. But yeah, guys, that's the old door. Let me come around to here. By the Fernando Jumbo. Into the second door. So guys, not much happening. Um, we've just been down to Plaza, like I said, got the season passes. Um, we're just going to have a wander around to the ho around the hotels now, have a look around, and then we're going to have a look, go down towards where the Blade supports were to see if they're still there, guys. So we'll move on, I'll catch you in a bit. This is, I'm just saying, this is pretty fun. This has become a tradition here with uh, the AJ Theme Park World team that we have to play Tick Tick Boo and Puffin Mini at least once while we're on bar. These, these arcades used to be up in. Um, Beauty uh, Bay. Where? Beauty Bay. No, no, the arcade by Nemesis. Oh. Edge. Edge. In the edge. Edge. Um, we used to Hey guys, right, we've just come down towards the Nemesis Gates um, for it, for it the Valley. Um, Galactica's running really well. Nemesis is running really well today. Um, uh, obviously, there's quite a few on park today, to be fair. Um, let me just turn the camera around. Here you are, guys. So, obviously, Galactica's running there when it comes round. Like I say, no sign of anything being done with Blade yet. Um, there's nothing there. Obviously, they've only got a week left to get it in. But we know each one of them rides they can put up very quickly. Um, oh, look, the steam's actually working. The mist is actually working on the portal again for a change. That was off last season. There's the monorail, the pirates. And a geek taking pictures. Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> But yeah, so not much going on. Just trying to hopefully get a video of Galactica coming down in a minute for you guys. I can't, I can't see Nemesis coming round. Oh, I can now. 
you look over there, you'll see it. Yeah, guys, he's come round this bend and then you'll see Nemesis. Just gone over the vert loop, guys. Any second now. Here he comes. Closest loop we're having today of Nemesis running till the next weekend. Uh, not much, like you say, guys. Um, oh, hold on. Galactica's just coming up the hill now. There it is. Hold on, man. He's hitting the park. Hey, you are, guys. Galactica's just going up the lift hill. Yeah, so we were, hope, we were hoping to get onto the park today, guys, but obviously it's only John Lewis's day, so we can't come on. Here you are, guys, here he comes. Looking at that, guys, Galactic is actually running really smoothly. Um, can't wait to get into the park. I actually can't wait to ride any roller coaster at this point in time. Like I say, we've only got a week left here uh, for this coronavirus. Um, obviously, the government are on about saying uh, from the mid next week, um, they're on about shutting anything over five, more than 500 people and they're on about closing the areas down. Um, hopefully, they don't do that so we can actually get on the park. Um, but apart from that, guys, there's not really much, much going on. Um, we're going to have a walk down to where the blade supports still are there. Um, we're going to go walk down there in a minute um, and show you them again and try and get some nice footage of Galactica, Galactica at, the, uh, at the car park, the view. So we'll speak to you soon, guys. Guys, we just come down towards blade supports. So we're going to get some, um, Alex is going to get a couple of videos of Galactica running around. Um, so as people might have saw, um, you know the grass car park when they use on fireworks on the way in? They've actually put planning permission in for um, a new car park to be built. So we, me and Alex were on about this the other day. For a new ride, they need more area. All of a sudden, the, literally a day later we saw that. Um, so it could be the fact that they're building that car park to use for this car park for a new ride behind Galactica. Possibly, it could be, they need room and this is pretty much the great opportunity to stick another ride in there. Um, so for Orton Towers updates, oh hey, all security's here. As for updates on Orton Towers guys, uh, the Gangster Granny ride is, um, been released and um, that's opening on the 21st of March it's a, a dark ride slash to like a Charlie ride um, going around explaining the story of Gangster Granny the blade as if you look behind me there are the put supports still that has not been put back in yet and they're running on shorter time if they are putting it back in um, anything else that we know of um, Oh, the Merlin Pass is now, if you buy them at the Orton Towers Resort, you have to give your old pass in now so they can destroy it so you can't use it again. Um, at Fort Park, if you remember, I'll put the picture in the bottom corner, left-hand corner. Um, the picture of the Swarm, it looks like they've actually got the back seats turned back round again. So does that mean they're redoing it again? Um, that was a great part of the ride when they did it but obviously I don't know if it's going to happen again um, Chesterton um, they had the I don't is there anything happened at Chesterton um, at Chesterton they've had the top spin removed haven't they at Chesterton yeah Raps and Vengeance is gone guys that's been removed um but I don't know anything else. Blackpool, guys, obviously you all know it's open. Everything's running perfectly fine. Um, Drayton Manor, they had to shut before their opening because of floods. 
and that was they've got flooded out and that's pretty much it guys of any fear anything going on um obviously like you say it's only a short vlog today and um, we haven't we don't got much happening we were hoping to get into the park and obviously we can't because it's john lewis's day um so here there's blade support like you say they're still not moved still in the same places from when we videoed last time um obviously they're not being put back in yet so blade i'm assuming the whole the whole blade is still behind um the dun the dual toilets hey guys so alex and paul have just got home and i thought because a lot of people don't know where the chain oak is so i thought i'll come and do you a video of the chain oak so if you look here that way there is if you're heading turn left out of the main gates and come down this way and it takes you towards you talks to you so there's a lay by here right of a bolivian in the background here you can see the bolivian there right you'll see it come around in a minute it's just dropped there it is indeed right so if you park in this lay by here and there here now is the chain doke yeah so if i turn the camera so guys so this is the main road here right the lay by is there yeah and the chain doke is here This is where you come to the chain dope, yeah? So you'll see this building on your right hand side and the sign saying chain own bed and breakfast, okay? So the chain dope, bed and breakfast is over there. What you wanna do is turn left here down this little piece of track here, yeah? So as you all know, right, Hex is a ride at Orton Towers and he's based on a true story of the Earl, okay? So, if anyone's been on Hex, obviously you know what the storyline is. If people don't know, the storyline of Hex... It was on a cold autumn night in 1821, when the thunder of hooves signalled the return of the wealthy 15th Earl of Shrewsbury back to his home, Alton Towers. As the journey neared its end, a mysterious figure suddenly appeared in the road. The Earl impatiently demanded of the driver why the carriage had stopped. With palm outstretched, an old woman pleaded with the Earl for the charity of a coin. The Earl cruelly dismissed her and instructed his driver to head back to the towers. Scorned, the old woman screamed a curse for every branch of the old oak tree that fell. A member of the Earl's family would die. and with one mighty bolt of lightning set a single branch from the old oak tree. And true to the old woman's prophecy, a member of the Earl's family suddenly and mysteriously died. Here is the actual tree that is in the hex video so guys i've always um, obviously with me being used to be in a paranormal activity um paranormal investigator for ghost hunts obviously this tree could be still cursed and we do say if you do come down don't touch the chains but that's what i reckon you know what you obviously everyone else might be different but this is the actual tree from Hex video. And as you can see here, guys, there is one of the chains that he used to chain the branches up back in the day. And you can see one just there, still attached to the branch. Okay, guys, as you can see, guys, some of the branches have fallen since he chained them up. Obviously, we don't know any more information if anyone's actually died from it or anything. We don't know if the curse is still going. Um, but 
obviously if you do come down here guys like i say don't touch the chains because you still might be cursed i don't know that's me but yeah that is the tree guys there's a the load of steps going up it kills you but that is the actual tree from hex guys and it's literally 300 yards 400 yards down the track from the main road and there it is the earl used to travel up this track up that way to the Orton towers and that's and that's the old oak tree it's cool isn't it so guys i'm going to close the vlog down now um like i say not much updates going on at the park again guys it's john lewis's day um he hides the park out every year um but apart from that guys that's it from aj theme park world for today uh we'll, we'll be back on the 21st of march next saturday for the opening day of Orton towers for 2020 season for the 40th anniversary of Orton towers um i'm not here um so guys, I hope, we, hope you're all well. Have a good day. Hope you have a great weekend. And I'll see you next Saturday. Have a good one, guys. Stay safe.